Welcome back, NPFL Extra Points Live, Week 13. In our first matchup, we have the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. Big T versus Pie Cat. In the first, first possession, Podcast drives all the way down the field and hits Big T with the RPO bubble from Hale for the touchdown. In his next drive, Big T tried to throws it, but he drives back, rolls left, and he throws the sweet Dance baby Ray. Ah, you gotta make it do what it do, baby. You gotta make it do what it do, baby. What the fuck? As you hear Big T, he was truly disgusted that he threw that sweet baby Rays for the pick six. And on the very next drive, Big T was not done throwing those sweet baby Rays. I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. Right after the pick, Pocket comes back with the Dodgers for the touchdown. Right when Big T thought on fourth down that he could get a touchdown, he gets taken to Suplex City. It's Hubbard. For payback, Suplex City again. At this point, Pacquiao feels sorry for Big T. And he thought he might as well should run it up. But he throws to Steverton for the pick. Big T gets it down the sideline, swerves and curves, and jukes his way all the way down for the pick six to get on the board. On the next drive, Pacquiao had enough. So he threw it up to Big Mike, and Big Mike bags and tags him for the touchdown. Podcap had one hand on neck, one hand on frontal in this game. Good job, Podcap. Next matchup is another division game. Lions, Vikings, week 13. We start off the game by the Lions getting money with a gusty for Mr. Moss for the touchdown. But the Vikings strike back fast with a one-yard touchdown. We'll take this into the end zone. Out to On the, the next drive, the Lions hit the tight end for a touchdown. After a huge stop, the Lions get the ball back up 14 to 7. And D Rich decides to get more money, more money with the gusty for the touchdown. But the Vikings strike back again with a quick touchdown. After a huge stop, the Vikings drive the field and look to tie it up with a great slant for the touchdown. Lions in control. He drops back and he throws the Steve. And Jay picks it off and he rumbles and stumbles back and gets stopped on the 25. After the pick, Jay drives it down and sets up the game-winning stretch for the touchdown to seal the game off and the victory. Both teams are not doing great this season. Will one of these teams find their way on the bum list? Seahawks, 49ers, week 13, let's get it. The Minches came out on fire going up 14-0, but I'm going to show some love to D-Boy as he never quits, as he sets up the great pass play to hit the corner for the great bag and tag for the touchdown. Well, that was the only highlight that I have for the 49ers, but it's trying. But you know how that goes. So he drops back, looks for the receiver to the left, and he throws to Stevenson. Yes, you did do that. As the Mitchell picks it off, then swerves and curves and takes it in for the pick six. I'm going to tell you what, my boy d Bo would never be on the bum list. He the only one subscribes to my Twitch. Cowboys, Saints, upset alert. Let's get it. Upset alert, upset alert, hey. Upset alert, upset alert, hey. Upset alert. The Saints had nine turnovers in this one. Good gracious. The cast was too trash for highlights. Here's a look at last week's Players of the Week. Week, week. There's some ballers on here, baby. Lamar takes over the MVP race as Frenchie has dirt, swag, and AC, and body bags. Here's a look at the playoff race with four weeks to go. Who would make it in and who would not make it? Here goes the first bum list of the year. Please like and subscribe. Help your boy out. See y'all next week.
get money, 